Hey everyone, this is Zimmery Priest uh, running the Timewinder. Zimmery, this is the first build uh, that I've seen that has a very clear positive win rate. Uh, it's doing well at High Legend. Uh, it's not quite Paladin, but it's a, it's a very strong deck. Um, this deck sort of uses the classic Crimson Clergy Funnel Cake package, um, but it doesn't run, uh, it does not run the Creation Protocol because it doesn't really have time to play this card. Uh, we, we don't want to be spending, it's too inefficient, it's, you know, four mana draw two when you forge it, where we're running Scale Replica, which is two mana draw two, uh, instead. We're also running Magatha, uh, to, and we run a one of Banker so we can often tutor out a Funnel Cake if we need to pop off. Uh, we're not really use actually i found we actually usually don't want to use bell of baker to draw a card from our opponent's deck um but bottom line is uh what we do is we play our, our dragons we so we ideally use funnel cake and then we make a big board and we go time wonder zimmery but we don't really even need to make a big board um this is very much a tempo deck so the big purpose of time wonder isn't to do some crazy otk uh, where you might do something like that against a warrior, it's really to give yourself another turn. Um, in addition, we have lots of zero mana potential cards. So we have 50 drifters, which you can get out of zero, but we also have Zilliax. So often, you know, the big play to do, um, you're up against, let's say you're up against a hunter, uh, and they go the four mana sixes and they make a giant wide board. Well, you might go, you might do something like play some cards, do a funnel cake, do a zero mana Zilliax, and then double creation protocol at Zilliax, uh, the Zilliax, um, and then get plus three, plus three on all your minions. So just making one big board is the most standard way to win with this deck. Uh, it, it doesn't really, so really, at the end of the day, you're just focusing on tempo. Like, how do I get tons of stats out quickly? Um, if you're up against like a good warrior or control deck, you might have to spread out your threats a little more, play a little more on brawl. The thing I've actually learned about warriors often, you want to put them down to one life and not zero, so they can't go safety into like, uh, into sanitize because uh, the safety is zero mana if they have zero armor so there are some tricky interesting spots like that but bottom line is you want to uh basically just tempo out um you, your ship sh your your ship sh surgeon is a very good card when you make copies of it uh same thing with uh and also this this gift red whelp is a lot of efficiency so there are things like you can do uh, a real high roll you might do is you play this on one uh, they don't kill it. You go power cord synchronize on two, and then you play another one, and then play two gift whelps, and then all of a sudden you have a giant board on three without even really mana cheating. So there are lots of really powerful things you can do with this deck, uh, just with a really high tempo. The biggest thing that's tough is when your opponent just continues to remove all your threats individually because a lot of your cards are spiraling. Uh, you know, your Crimson Clergy, your Ship Surgeon, your Whelp Wrangler, which gives you more and more whelps. So all these cards are hard to say. So yeah, that's uh, generally. So what am I generally keeping the mulligan? I haven't quite 100% figured out mulligans. Um, so I'm not even sure on the, on the one drops, but I think the best one drops in general are probably Crimson and Gift Wrap Whelp. Uh, but I usually will keep Ship Surgeon as well. Um, I think you, you like keeping Power Cord Synchronized if you have a one drop. Um, the stats usually say keep Scale Replica. I'm still not sure on that. And Whelp Wrangler would keep. Pip I would also generally keep, but maybe if I didn't have anything, you know, if I was going first and I had no one drops, I wouldn't keep it. But if I'm on coin and I have like, you know, a funnel kick, I'm absolutely keeping it. So, uh, but mulligans are a little tricky. So uh, I, I still haven't 100% figured out the hyper optimized one because a lot of times you're looking for synergistic cards uh, and, you know, an early claim what, what, what your, your turn one through four plan is. So, you know, how are you going to draw cards? Um, are you looking to go tempo? Or are you looking to do a big pop off? Uh, for example, you know, there are plays like you could go Benevolent Banker, get a Funnel Cake, and then go Pip, and then do a big pop-up on five and make a giant board. That's an often the play. So uh, th that was probably the thing I, I, ha I haven't quite 100% figured out with this deck. But it plays very much like Ottoman to Humphreys. So anyways, got some games for you guys. Enjoy. One deck, it is a fun deck, dude. Light sea! Light sea! Oh, no, no. Oh. 
Top deck of dragon, please. No one's going to believe this. Amazing top deck. Amazing. Starting the operation. What? <laughs> nice deck you got there. So there's Squilliam, thank you for the 23 months. Got my sub training, thank you so much, Squilliams. What is the win condition? The, the short answer is tempo, dude. Um, so, what does it mean when I say a deck has a win condition that is tempo? Um, it means that it has ways to efficiently put stuff on board before your opponent can activate their value and win the game. That is what I mean when I say, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Actually, let's see here. Orderlald? Son of a gun, dude. I was thinking like this was the correct order, but I guess it wasn't. Um. Be gone! That's you, <coughs> You're gonna die, dude. Hate to break it to you, but she's gonna die. <clears throat> this has, uh, these are one threes, right? So they're two fours. So two fours, um. Be gone! Abomination! <laughs> I'm not sure if trading is correct there or not. Um, I think we're so ahead that, like, I just... I don't know. I did a mixed strategy. Um, things like, uh, you know, if I, I keep a wide board and they do some sort of, like, buff up their whole board play, which they have, that might be, like, the only way that they get back to this game. There's simply nothing I can do. <laughs> nice, uh... What a nice silent up you got there. Chat. Illegal. <laughs> Would Leroy be good at this deck? No. Um, actually, maybe. I don't know, dude. Um... Someone could try that. It actually makes sense. Uh, but it's like a bad tempo Starting card. The so, like, imagine this card's Leroy. Like, we, it's terrible, right? But. Oh my god, dude. It's gonna be the easiest win of my life. Starting the operation. That's you want to break. Why is Leroy back in so many decks? Because he's good. That's the short answer. Bro. Oof. I want this guy to die. Light sings. I want them to play stuff, and then I go Zillix. Um. 
Chad, did you guys like my uh, Leroy Jenkins joke today on Twitter, dude? People are saying, um, really, my days of her are over. My days of a full-time professional comedian are here. Because it was a hilarious joke. <laughs> Reporting for duty. We've created a temporal anomaly. Starting the operation. Play with Lita 3 it feels like it's better than the version. Dude, I can see it then. I feel like this is like I don't need Leroy here. Leroy, it's already turned four. This is a scam deck. Chat. The desert sun strengthens okay. my rays. Here's my view on scams. Scam me once. Wait, what? Perfection. Uh, what exactly do we do? Okay. So, what minions do I want to die? Be gone, abomination! Dude, I, I feel like. Be gone! Abomination! Awkward. No, no, no! Patch you up. <clears throat> Patch you up. Astronomical. Patch you up. <laughs> Afraid of apotheosis here, and I just really just go time winder. That's probably enough to win most of the time next turn. It's unfortunate though. I think they used their whole turn doing this though, so maybe we're fine. Um, I get to push. Do the trade on here. Deny the card draw, bro. Card draw matters here. Alright, son. Oh, here we go. Light sings! And the outdoor walls catch you up. No, no, no! Um, I think I'm like better off just going Amanthul, but I think I'm also better off like trading my own minions off here. Um, and just getting a two drop. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I'm better off doing that or getting a six drop with Taunt. Wait, how is it lethal? I have 12. Consider. Um, so I think I'd rather have a six drop here. Copy doesn't have plus one, plus one. No, no, no! Heroes and champion order. Zack! Dopamine. Dude, why do I always think this is dopamine brand, dude? I was like, this is dopamine brand. I mean, this is useless, like absolutely useless, but this is useless too. So I guess this is 7 mana 6 6. So it has some value. Patch you up. Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! 7 mana 8, eight yeah. I haven't done like any buffs yet. The power of tempo did. Doesn't Samari work once per game? Yeah. So imagine if you had a card that said, 
Refresh your mana crystals plus wild growth. I smell golden in their waters. Um, that would be an insane card, right? Um, now imagine now you get another turn to attack too. Doesn't matter if it only refreshes once, it's still insane. Thinks I have more damage than I actually do here. Patch you up. Be gone! Take it out. Out. Get in front of me! <clears throat> Candle Mud Slider! I have too many minions. I do shit! Uh, what is this rock for <laughs> Maybe I do I have plush lethal now though? Dude, this, 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 this freaking dude, kind of illegal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just trade on one of my minions. I go six face. And then I go king. Wait, did they mess up? Wait, uh, they, yeah, they always play your one mana health guy here, right? But, oh, they went for the greed, chat. They went for the greed. They're like, charge, bro. Wait, oh, never mind. Never mind, they went for the opposite of greed. Okay, that sucks. Do I have lethal? Um. Exactly, though, chat. Oh my dude, look at the. the, the. Percentage of free to play players. Um, so, a lot of players in top 100 could be free to play players. It's just like, okay. So, imagine you're a multi millionaire, but you decide to live in like a $30,000 house, even though you have millions of dollars. Like, why are you going to do that? Uh, I think I even saw an interview that Mr. Beast did that uh, until his house got robbed and then he moved into a nice neighborhood. But, yeah. There's simply nothing I can do. I kind of want to draw dragons here, to be honest. I know I have, I have Magatha. I'm better just off. Use me. Just use me. It's just like you're grinding High Legend regularly. Let's say you played this game 1,000 hours. Um, let's say you invested. Uh, you've like done a very minimal. You bought like three pre-orders uh, for 60 bucks each and a, a mini set. So that's two hundred dollars, all right? And you play this game a thousand hours. That means you're you're on average, right? Um, you are paying twenty cents an hour, all right? Compare that to going to a movie, all right, in theaters, which which you people used to do a lot. Uh, right now where I am, it's like twelve dollars. And let's say you don't blood, for three hours, uh, which is uh, so that's four dollars an hour, all right? So, Hearthstone, by that math, yeah. is, so if we go 0.2, uh, 4 divided by 0.2, uh, is 20 times cheaper than going to a movie. Uh, so people decide, okay, that's a reasonable form of entertainment that I'm willing to spend money on. Uh, so, you know, spend zero dollars on it, dude. Uh, 
I must Hang on well, this is harder than it looks. Pours ahead of drugs. I think. Making qualifying could not terrible. Um, so there's a one they uh, Blizzard wants. They don't have like the time and resources to do something other than ladder. Um, so really, right now, like ladder needs a large sample size. Um, the way they did in the past with master tours, but that basically involved playing a lot, eventually getting a high roll if you're a good enough player. Um, which statistically, if you played enough and you're a really good player, you had a very good chance. But some players would grind all season and miss it, you know? Um, bro. And here we go. Top deck, uh, illusionist here. Wait, I already have an illusion. Starting the operation. Water! Sweet, beautiful water! Wait, I should have given this rush. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies! It's actually a really annoying, really big mistake. We've created a temporal anomaly. Uh, see, this is enough. Yeah, so really you just need enough money to, to craft one like tier one deck. Um, so so you, you're phrasing the question like, oh, it's a, um, this is what they call in uh, like statistics, like distinguishing between the signal and the noise. So let's say um, you ask a bunch of millionaires like, okay, what is your, what do you eat for breakfast? And they say, oh, I dude, I eat freaking uh, freaking eggs and frosted flakes every day. And you're like, all right, the secret to success is to eat eggs and frosted flakes, all right? I, over here, was having a yogurt, and that's clearly why my girlfriend left me and I got kicked out of college and my parents say I'm a failure. Because I wasn't eating eggs and frosted flakes. Oh, I, I was eating yogurt. Time. I should have known better. Um... And then you switch to eggs and frosted flakes and then your life still minutes. sucks. Um, that's what's rough. Right. Need them? What was the percentage of how the top 100 fights have more coached by you? And we'll 
seize the means of card production. Uh, but it kind of is what it is. Uh, but you know, but you can go and say like, hey, I'm not gonna buy this if you're fucking doing this bullshit to me. I'm gonna go to this other game. Uh, you know, and there are you know games like I play Pee Wee. Uh, I think it's overall you know really good uh, monetization. Um, but like, I don't think that would work for Hearthstone. So it's not like we can just switch to Pee Wee. You know, uh, monetization is not the same. It's not you're not building the character. Solves any problem. We are now vengeance. There's simply nothing I can do. Just use more! I don't know if I like my plan here. I could have just gone Wrangler up there. I kind of lost coin for no reason here. Yeah, I don't like my play. Yeah, that's a huge mistake, actually. Like, throwing the coin here is easily game losing. We top deck second Crimson Clergy. That's that's a good... Uh, good. Actually, I'm just going to do this. Hang on well. It's harder than it looks. Just use more. <clears throat> Thank you, crap, because you think it's good, which is it? Yeah, think about fishing, chat. When you go fishing, you put a worm on your rod, all right? <laughs> First time makes our cards real, I would surely buy raise kids to support them. Created a temporal anomaly. Light sings and the impure fall. <laughs> Just use more. Decline. Raid. Crash of Thunder. Dump as many cards as I can here. I wonder. Gee, I want to thin my deck here. Do I really want power cord here? I think I'd, actually power cord is really good with thrifty. If I draw it. Decline. I can go Magatha with snake oil. Try to draw like a thrifty drifter here. I 
I'm the snake in your boots. They don't set up lethal this turn. It's like. little time. Go, no. <laughs> so Phil, my music got streamed. Gotta start soon. awkward in that like so how many dragons do I have left in my deck um I have one dragon okay so I can go scale right no no I have two dragons left so <laughs> I can't actually go scale here because it draws my lowest and highest so I overdraw my time winder um so it's awkward here and then I'm, I'm like I'm a, like they probably go pop off for next turn and I probably don't draw thrifty but um I mean if not, I'm going to be fine. I just set up for lethal in two turns. Even. I didn't go discounts here. It's fine, right? Wait, I can just win. Wait, no, I have a star- oh, chat, I almost threw, I have a starlight whelp. I almost threw hard there, chat. That would have been pretty embarrassing. Do they have lethal here, dude? Alright, well they're letting me know I need to <laughs> I need to hero power my own face here, I guess. It's awkward for them to kill me, right? And then uh, I just redevelop next turn. Dude, how terrible is their effing hand over there, dude? My hand is too full. Uh, it's okay. Starting the operation. Need help. Let's give you some extra time. Created a temporal anomaly. Water! Feel the water! Water! This would be feel the water! Chill turn six? Yeah, supposed to. Considered sea giants. Nope. Sounds way too slow. Armor! Armor! Lightly used armor! One knows solves any problem. Do you think this deck is worth crafting? Uh, so... 
Also, I do I think um, that you should uh, so sell like abandon your city life, move to the the country and uh, and um, become a a beets farmer, right? Uh, do I also think um, uh, daily massages are a must for happiness? Wrangler <laughs> Welps is harder than it looks. Definitely. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so damn happy. Like, where are you yet? Uh. Dude, I hear black rock and roll, and I hear like too much bait even for for the no hands. All right. Should I sell my kidney? Uh, not both, obviously. Uh, but one could get you a lot of like sick diamond cards, uh, which in turn... So, okay, think about this, chat. So your kidney makes you healthy, yes. But also, other people saying you got as a sweet diamond card it will make you happy, which will make you healthy, right? Because happiness is healthiness. So really, you should just sell your kidney, uh, get some sweet diamond cards, and then use that, um, then that will like give that positive, right? Yeah, dude, two having two kidneys is basically starting life with like an advantage, Readers don't deck. <laughs> it's true, dude. Alright, what do I do here? What exactly? The Grim Totem has had enough of your noise! Alright, this went pretty well. Just use more! <laughs> I think they're just playing like regular Highlander here. Um, I mean, I guess I just need to make a big board at some point and then go Timewinder. I guess I'm supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to save Thrifties for the OTK, but I have to play a bunch of Dragons. I've only played two, it's not enough. So, play some Dragons, right? Then do Timewinder plus Thrifty Drifters. Um, that might be a good play. And then Mazilix. This is not what we stood for. The impure fall. Light sings, and the impure fall. Franklin Welps is harder than it looks. Quickly. All right, let's see if this play works.
gotta move! Alright, chat, question. This hand. Do I go in next turn or this turn? So if I go in this turn, um, I play like one mana dragon here, right? Then I play five mana, then I play thrifty, then I play Zillix. Uh, I get the trade, I do a lot of damage. Um, but if I wait another turn, I can do I can do this plus Zillix. I, I can wait one turn to go on though. It's like better, I feel like, to wait. Because they're like usually gonna do a slow tempo play here. Um, I feel like I'm better off waiting. Maybe I was better off just going in there. I kind of regret this play. I do regret this play. No matter the danger, I'll always chase a good discovery. Gee, do I really need the plus one attacks on these? I haven't done the math, but um, I can go one one five zero zero, right? And then I do I illusionist and get another zero. Um, I don't know if that wins it though. But also do double dragons here. One dose, one so, dose, and so, problem. So, problem. So, problem. So, 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 Unfortunately, it's barely off here. Uh, do I have any dragons left in my deck? No. Oh. I could hit Wind Fury. <laughs> that doesn't get there, I don't think. Right, Wind Fury, trade. Maybe I had to go for it anyways, because I don't have lethal anyways, so. Five short. Toys are much more fun to bring! I wish I had just bought that now. Just use more. <laughs> We've created a temporal anomaly. Why don't you play Alex Straza in this deck? Uh, way too slow. Wow, they're just yolling it here. Terrible. Okay. Okay. 
what? We didn't get the spell in effect, okay? Hey, let's go, dude. You got me. 